In this video, we will demonstrate our technique for quartz head laser ablation of the prostate, or QLAP. A 300 watt diode laser system from Bioletic Germany is used to produce 980 nanometer laser, which is conveyed to the patient by the quartz head fiber, known as twister fiber. This fiber is an end firing fiber with a 30 degrees angulation at its distal end overlayered with quartz to concentrate the energy at its tip. The fiber works in a contact mode and does not emit a free beam. This fiber has a hand piece to control the fiber. A continuous irrigation 23 French sheath and a 30 degrees telescope from Storrs Germany is used for the procedure. This procedure is performed in a lithotomy position the use of endocamera camera and protective goggles is a must. In this video, we are demonstrating our technique in performing the QLAP in this 80 milliliter prostate. We developed this technique based on Nesbit technique of TURP. We divide the prostate into four zones, medial lobe, proximal half, distal half and the apical lobes. We start by ablating the median lobe. The twister fiber works in contact mode. The more pressure is applied to tissues, the faster the ablation is. Fiber movement can either be a sliding movement or a rocking one. Notice the surgeon's hand in controlling the fiber movement. In this view, the bladder neck fibers are well seen. After finishing the median lobe, we start by ablating the proximal half of the prostate. The prostate is ablated in layers until the surgical capsule is reached. Then we move to the distal half and the same technique is used. One lobe is totally finished before moving on to the other one. We usually start at 12 o'clock working our way to 6 o'clock. Anterior tissues are reached by rotating the scope. We start by ablating the proximal half and ablation is done in layers until the capsule is reached. Then we move to the distal half of the same lobe and ablation is done in layers again until the surgical capsule is reached. The same process is repeated on the right lobe. We start by the proximal half anteriorly, working our way posteriorly. 
ablating the tissues in layers until the surgical capsule is reached. It is not advisable to reach the capsule in one area before the others. Otherwise, the prostatic lobe will fall and will be unsupported, making the ablation process more difficult. After finishing the proximal half, the distal half is then ablated similarly in layers. In this scene, it is shown how easily this fiber and 980 nanometer laser control the bleeders. The apical lobes are then ablated one lobe at a time. This is the final view after ablating the prostate. In this scene, the surgical capsule is easily identifiable. The Q-Lap is a fast bloodless procedure that is easy to master and provides good results with minimal complications. Healing of the foster is seen in this image in this three months follow up cystoscopy of another patient having a concomitant TCC of the urinary bladder. CT with contrast for the same patient shows widely patent prostatic urethra after three months of the Q lab.